beautiful beings of light. This is Belinda Pearl, and I just turned this on, and it just says three, three, three. So I think that's kind of magical that we're meeting at this time. So if you see this and you're live, come say hello. Um, I was just thinking I'd just hop on just for a few moments just to see how everybody is doing and um, what is coming up for you. I know that this week has been a joyful ride for um, many of us and it's topped off with like a beautiful blue cherry which is that blue moon tomorrow night or everyone's been seeing it so full already in the sky and it's that blue moon, full moon, Libra and Libra is all about um, you know that relationship we have with one another and what's interesting, I think at the beginning of this week, I was talking about it and I said this relationship that we have with ourselves. So if you're online, say hello. I think there's somebody over here that's so going to wave at you. There we go. <laughs> I love how that works. Technology's fun. Um, so just getting back to the blue moon and that relationship that we have with one another, with ourselves especially, it's that conversation that we're having every day inside of us and how are we feeling in this space and sometimes it's that dichotomy of um, we think we're supposed to do this and then we think we're supposed to do this and it really separates us from ourself and so we can't really become in union with ourself and I really had a purpose of coming here and sharing something with you and not just about this blue moon, it's like that relationship that we have with ourselves, but also that relationship that we have with light as well. What is that relationship that we have with light? And maybe there was one of those meditations or one of those um, ponderings I had earlier on, I think it was this week, about our relationship with um, the light. And I was talking a little bit about what is your relationship with light? And maybe if you heard that earlier on in the week, Maybe you've pondered it this week and just seeing this week that we've traveled through has been a holy week and today they call it Good Friday. But if you really think what it is, it's this sort of crucifixion, all this coming to an end of a way of life or a way of being. And this is something I've been also like turning inside of myself and seeing what is that relationship I'm having with myself and what are the things that I am also bringing to an end so I can have salvation in some way and again it comes back to that space of what's that relationship we have with ourself which is really that relationship that we have with the light and the light is really the fuel for our soul journey that we are choosing to be here with so if any of this makes some sense like send me a thumbs up and let me know um, but otherwise I'll just carry on talking so this whole week has been about how we feeling inside of ourselves and how we've been going through each of these holy days and it's recognizing these visions that we hold for ourselves as well like what's the vision that we hold for life and sometimes we get sometimes caught again in that dichotomy or in that box really of trying to see how we trying to make this be so like fitted into our vision but the vision sometimes is so solid that there's no um, allowance through it if that makes sense and so we get kind of stuck and fixated into these things and it's like our mind sometimes turns around a little bit so we again coming back to that space is what's that relationship that we're having with ourselves what's all those conversations and so it's about having these inspirations but allowing the the knowledge or the thought or the wisdom that the universe is not linear and so nothing's going to flow how we think it's to flow then it's going to flow in all these different ways but um so again it keeps the energy keeps saying what is that relationship that we have with ourselves? What's that medicine that we give ourselves every day when you stand up in bed? And what do you say to yourself when you wake up in the morning? What is that voice that you talk to yourself every day? What is that relationship that you keep coming back to so that you, when you look at yourself in the mirror, you see yourself holy and you see yourself full versus all these perceptions or these distortions or these distractions or these delusions because that, those, all those distortions, distractions, and delusions really um, separate us from ourselves and put up that inner barrier or that wall or that pain or that discomfort. But meantime, if we can allow the light that we have within inside of ourselves to start to shine brighter because of these ongoing um, conversations that we have with ourselves from a point of view of seeing ourselves as whole and holy versus so separate from the vision that we really truly want to hold for ourselves. 
I don't know if any of this is making any sense. If it is, give me a thumbs up. But um, something that I wanted to talk about with this relationship that we have with ourselves is about this, um, the foundation of strength that we can build with inside of ourselves. What's this foundation? Where does this foundation come from? We have to start someplace. So a lot of the times I speak about having a spiritual practice and when it's the a moon time, it's such a powerful time for us to actually begin or start a spiritual practice. And this is also cultivating, again, that relationship that we have with ourself and that relationship that we have with the light. The more we cultivate the spiritual practice, the more that we cultivate the relationship with ourself, is the more we open ourselves up to this relationship with the light, with the divine, with all, whatever that is, the universe. So it's cultivating those strong foundations that I would suggest under this blue moon of Libra, which again is very auspicious. It's a second moon in a month. And Libra is looking about their balance. At the beginning of the month, we had a full moon. And it's like at the end of the month, it's like the energies are being balanced, if any of that makes any sense too. So it's like how we come to that place of creating the foundation for that spiritual practice so we can start to bring it in. So under this full moon Libra, which is, again, looking at the relationships we have outside of ourselves, but more purposely the relationship that we have inside. And I would suggest starting your spiritual practice under this full moon, under this auspicious time, or just sitting with yourself in communion and having that internal relationship, seeing yourself for who you are in all of this. One of the um, meditations that you could do this moon, if you wish, is to either do it in front of a mirror so you can actually see yourself in the mirror and cultivate that relationship. So not from that space of the mind, but cultivate that relation from the space of the heart. And what fuels the heart is love. And love is part of that element of light that gives us that fuel for our whole entire soul journey. The more we um, nurture that relationship that we have with ourselves and with the light, we start to see ourselves in a completely new, different vision. So when we see ourselves out in the world, the visions that we made structured can start to wave and conform and shift to um, the however we're showing up in that day. That knowing that as we're showing up in that moment, that that's perfect and that's the place that we really want to be. And again, that comes back to how we feel about ourselves and this relationship we have with ourselves. Again, the relationship we have with the light. It feels like I keep saying that over and over again, but I must be important for, for, for some reason. And one last thing I wanted to share with you. I pulled a card, and um, it's actually kind of synchronistic because um, this week I had two doves like literally like land next to me, and they cooed and cooed and cooed. And so I had to look up what it is that doves mean. And doves is this representation of celestial messengers. And so I pulled this card, and I just looked at it now, and there is a dove in his hand, the white dove. So I just think that's amazing, these celestial messages that are coming in. So maybe this is a channeling of some celestial message. That's why it's asking you to look at that relationship with yourself and to see how that relationship with yourself becomes more light, if you will. And as he's holding the dove in his hand, there's this like atom above his head, this spiraling, this quantum field that we are cultivating with every day, with every thought, with every action that we take. We are cultivating that quantum field of light all around us. Again, it's that relationship with we have, we have with ourselves. And it says there's nothing to worry about. So if there's anything to take with you into the week is to know that there's nothing to worry about. It's really, it says you are safe. And the situation is under the perfect control of divine providence and universal order. Only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure that the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly to and through you. So again, like that makes so much sense. Like this relationship that we cultivate with ourselves every day. And I'll show you the card just once more, one more so you can see. How powerful is that? Like, you know, it's like his hand is on his heart. He's, he's opening himself up to the celestial messengers that are coming through or messages that are coming through. And he knows that as he thinks about his life and what he's creating around him is this quantum field. He's allowing himself or you are allowing yourself to really be expansive. See how the universe kind of comes out of him. He has angel wings, but look at these. It's you becoming one with this place with inside of you. That's why even sit this weekend with your hand and your heart and be in that place of 
your own true self and whatever's showing up for you, all the shadows or the thoughts or the thinking, is to see it for what it is and walk through it and say, you know, inside of me there's so much more power. The more I cultivate that relationship with myself, with my heart, with my truth, I step into that power of myself, of the light, into the universe. I step into that power of how I want to be seen in the world. So again, it says, there's nothing to worry about, because there isn't. Worrying just detracts us from the truth. Worrying just takes us away from our center. Worrying creates those dis delusions and those distractions. So these are just thoughts to ponder as you go through this beautiful weekend. And it is kind of auspicious to think about what is happening on this weekend specifically. But um, go through your own um, releasing, letting go, salvation and rising and see what happens to you as you appear on the other side. And just be open to um, life however it changes. No, don't hold it into a box. Let the paradigm just kind of burst open so you can find yourself in all of this and have a stronger and more brilliant connection with the light. So I'm going to leave you with that. This is Belinda Pearl. Uh, if you enjoyed it, say I did. Um, you can find me at BelindaPearl.com and I will be back again sometime soon. I have no idea. From my heart to yours, have a beautiful, happy um, Easter. And I did want to say one more thing before I move out. I'm wearing a smile about this magical little company called Payback Gift. And they sent me this smile. It's a moss picture agate. And it's all about nature. And the message has been telling me to connect to nature. So I love this so much because it really helps me to get into that space of nature. And with springtime happening, this is your time to really go out and commune with nature and see what happens. And again, I got this smile from... Um, Payback gift, they donate every month um, a percentage of sales on certain models or programs um, to different charities. So check them out, paybackgift.com. And again, me, Belinda Pearl. I'll see you again soon. Namaste.